Perry Wolf. I am a keyboard player for the For the Spirit Band at Upper Dublin Lutheran Church. I've been playing there since 1995. Uh, I've been asked to say a few words about my faith journey. So uh, here goes. Uh, I was raised in Philadelphia by a Jewish family. Uh, we, we grew up with uh, Jewish traditions. Uh, we we're not overly religious, but uh, we did uh, believe in God, and we went to synagogue on high holy days, and I was going to Hebrew school. Well, around the time of my bar mitzvah, I remember this particularly, uh, I, I was into the Beatles at that time. It was that time. Uh, and uh, what happened was uh, I always wondered why we never played music. Why weren't people playing music in the synagogue on Sabbath? So I asked a rabbi that. I said, why can't we have guitar and piano, maybe even drums in synagogue? And his reply was, well, it's a sin to work on the Sabbath, which is the rule. You're not supposed to work on the Sabbath, so they do not have instrument people. They do not have people playing music. Instead, everyone's singing, and a lot of them are singing out of tune, and uh, it just seemed a shame. And to me, to this day, I always felt that uh, music it should always be celebrated. It's part of God's kingdom, and we should always be able to play music in a synagogue, in a church, anywhere. So that's what, that's what I remember from my childhood. Later on in life, uh, when I was about to get married, I was pretty much, uh, I wouldn't say atheist, but I was, uh, I believed in God, but there was no religion in my life. My ex-wife at that time and my brother separately were trying to uh, uh, talk, me, uh, talk to me about Christianity, because both of them were Christians. And I visited some churches. I liked what I saw. I liked especially some of the music that I was able to uh, enjoy. Uh, I liked gospel music at that time, and uh, I still do. And uh, I liked some of the message. You know, it made a lot of sense. I went to some Bible studies with them, and uh, I learned a lot. But I still wasn't ready to commit. And uh, I had a daughter. Uh, around the time my daughter was two, I was at work. My ex-wife uh, was taking care of her, and she was very sick. So uh, she was having a hard time. She was coughing bad and wasn't breathing well. So the doctor said, bring her to the hospital. So my ex-wife got her into the car and started heading to the hospital. And on the way to the hospital, my daughter started coughing a lot. And it, it would sound scary. And what happened was my, my ex-wife thought that she was going to stop breathing. So she went to stop the car to be able to help her. And instead of hitting the brake, she hit the gas. Well, the car went out of control very quickly and smacked into a car that was parked at the side of the road. And the car was devastated. It was totaled. Uh, it's very lucky they were okay. Uh, the cop had to get them out of the car. It was not easy. Uh, but the cop was able to get them to the hospital. Uh, and the car was totaled. So... Uh, I was very relieved. I went and saw them in the hospital. Everyone was fine, believe it or not. My daughter was unscathed. My wife, ex-wife was unscathed. So I went to the scene of the accident. I looked at this car, and it looked like it was run over by a steamroller. It was horrible. Uh, but I looked inside the car, and my ex-wife used to have a crucifix hanging from the rearview mirror. And the weirdest thing, the crucifix was standing straight up in the driver's seat straight up. It's like, wow, how did that happen? And then it hit me at once. God saved my family and he invited me to his family. At that point, I considered myself a Christian. And I've been a Christian since. God has changed my, wife in a uh, my life in a lot of ways. Very, very positive ways. Uh, I've since been remarried. Uh, I'm a, I have a, a lot of grandchildren things are very good for me and uh, I've been playing music uh, the year after all that happened I, I was invited to Upper Dublin Lutheran Church 1995 and I've been playing music there ever since and I intend to continue and I believe it's what I, I was called to do and I thank God for inviting me to his family and I, I love God I love Jesus and what else can I say that's that's my story Thank you very much, and uh, have a good night. Heart and soul, give me love, give me love, give me peace on earth. Give me life, give me life.
keep me free from birth Keep me home, help me cope with this heavy load Trying to touch, to reach you With heart and song, yeah My love